so uh, good morning dear students today we have master chef dr chef damodaran with us a renowned and acclaimed chef internationally acclaimed chef he is uh, uh, he is a very renowned chef in india and known internationally for his distinguished menus and nice profession uh, in the hospitality industry so uh, good afternoon chef and today our topic as you know entrepreneurship a catalyst a new change so uh, chef uh, before starting this program i will i'd like to say something to our students students uh, we are learning so many things in our college in our degree course so we have course like mba in hospitality and hotel administration we have inducted course like bba in advanced international hospitality hotel administration we have bsc in hospitality and hotel administration so in these courses apart from core sectors of the hospitality management like food production front office housekeeping food and beverage management we have subjects like sales and marketing financial management human resource management etc so along with the main subjects we are teaching the students how to do marketing management how to do financial management how to start with the tourism management how uh, how to learn all these hospitality managements all together so not only hotel apart from hotel we are teaching you we are teaching you how to become an entrepreneur or how to start entrepreneurship so as the situation is improving and uh, nicely the hotels are opening slowly and i had a discussion with the general managers of different hotels and they are very hopeful that within 2 3 months they will be bouncing back with full flow of service so uh, today we'll start this topic with the present scenario and how apart from jobs student have the option to do business students will be getting job we are providing job but some of the students may start their own business also so that thing we are teaching the students through this webinar sessions so uh, dear students i'd like to tell you that apart from jobs you can be a job creator as well through your own learning and experiences how so nowadays if you can see that lot of job entrepreneurs are coming or lot of uh, businessmen are coming away like we have ritesh agarwal who has started the oyo rooms and doing business nicely we have different chain restaurants we have uh, mr anjan chatterjee also he, he is the owner of a specialty restaurant so lot of chefs are opening their own business as well apart from their jobs so how the question is how they are opening and what are the things you require to do one business okay so to do one business you can start from your own it's not that you need a huge amount of money you may need a small amount of money or you can uh, take a small bank loan also if you require some money from the local bank you just need to fill the application form to to grant the loan okay apart from that if you have a, a little money you can start your own business as well you can start your own small restaurants you can start your online food uh, court or anything in the hospitality industry so uh, the example like swiggy zomato so all these are doing business nicely you can also open a small business uh, like small restaurants or small uh, hotel business or some room business or any other business you feel, feel suitable in this present scenario so uh, what i have seen uh, outside india lot of chefs are doing hotel business or restaurant business as well so in this prospect we have dr chef damodaran and he also engaged himself in entrepreneurship as well apart from uh, being a chef he has uh, worked in different uh, restaurants and hotels so chef in this prospect i'd like to uh, uh, ask you sir uh, please uh, uh, give us light to our students how to start an entrepreneurship or a business in the restaurant or as a hotelier okay before that uh, very good afternoon to everyone thanks for the opportunity to meet you again so what is entrepreneurship that everybody should know uh, is the ability and readiness to develop organize and run a business and enterprise along with the any uncertainties in order to make a profit the most prominent example entrepreneurship is starting a new business that new business can be hotel business or restaurant business who are the entrepreneurs 
an entrepreneur is an individual who creates a new business being most of the risk and enjoying most of the rewards when you say entrepreneur first your mindset should be i'm going to invest money the idea is to get the profit and give the quality to the customers whether the risk or profit i myself going to enjoy the entrepreneurs to start a business this catalyst actually the hotel industry it is really welcoming now since the lockdown is going on vigorously you have to think of starting at least for one year this is going to continue maybe a business which has got a lot of I mean the restaurant you will be served the food which has got a lot of medicinal value food highly nutritive nutritive value food the menu should not be cumbersome menu should be simple at the same time the value added to the product should be very good and it has to have a lot of energy to that it is what you call the immune capacity to the body is a must that sort of menu you have to prepare that is secondary when you say you are going to start a restaurant or chain of a restaurant or a fast food outlet or maybe a cloud kitchen or maybe a online uh, kitchen whatever it is the first and foremost point what you have to see the location where you are going to start your business location and when you say location it has to be on the where we have a flow that is the inflow of guests should be there the uh, movement of the passengers should be there or guests should be there another one the parking area is vital very very important the parking area wherever you going to start it can be find and respond it can be parcel uh, it can be online but still you need a space for parking the vehicle first and foremost point i said is location of your the business wherever you are going to have a business it has to be in the main area it has to be easily accessible to the people who you are going to deliver and similarly the the person the customers who can come and dine in your restaurant the easy access must be there the location is going to be somewhere a remote place then the business immediately cannot be developed if it's a main place definitely you can win your game as a second thing is i said parking is a must so uh, suppose they are on a highway you are traveling you can leave the vehicle and go inside have the food so parking is another vital vital important point number 2 number 3 here yeah. whom you are going to start a business is it you are going to start alone fine then you have to bear all the risk and the enjoyments if you are going to start with your partner or with your classmate a proper deed has to be maintained or it has to be a registered deed partnership deed has to be there there may be in future that will not give you a problem if you are going to make a deed partnership deed in that partnership deed maybe it could be a sleeping partner a dormant partner or maybe a working partner or maybe equal share partner like that so it depends how you are going to keep your partner very important the partner who may not be uh, investing money but he will be working with you maybe you give a salary for him but still you keep him as a partner similarly i invest money i don't come to your place but still i invest money uh, then he is also a partner so the choosing of partner is very 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 important because a lot of misunderstanding can happen because of by choosing the partners so whenever you choose partners you have to be very careful could be a non person could be relative but both of you or all the three all the four must have an understanding each other if the understanding is not there the restaurant or the fast food counter or cloud kitchen comes to an end very shortly so if you are going to do alone the question doesn't arise if you are going to do with somebody else as this question arises then another one is staffing when you say staffing 
before going to the stuffing i want to involve here the quality of food the quality is very important the business they're going to give a quality people are going to search for you and come to you and need the food or take the food the quality when you say quality the consistency has to be maintained throughout it is not a short term business it is going to be a long term business the business going to be maybe 30 years 40 years you are going to run the business so uh, when you say the quality the quality of the product when you buy there's no should not be any compromise maybe your uh, non perishable commodities perishable commodities meat and meat product whatever you are going to buy that should not be any compromise so when you are not going to compromise the quality of food definitely the business going to be there so when you say the quality of food when we give all the materials very good branding materials we are giving it perishable commodities we are giving it meat and meat products we are giving it the person who prepares the food maybe we call them as a chef or maybe commies but they should produce the quality that is what very important that quality should be satisfied by the customers because it's not that easy uh, because one person can give one taste another person comes on half day he gives another taste no whenever you start a restaurant or start a business or a hotel or whatever you do you have to standardize the menus when you say standardization you are supposed to have a menu card you are preparing a menu card based on the menu card you are supposed to prepare your dishes suppose for example you are making maybe your uh, biryani that you standardize a menu you prepare a yield test 1 kg i am getting about 10 portions 1 kg i am having all these here these are the ingredients i am adding it. these are the quantity of ingredients i am adding it. for example 1 kg rice 1 kg of chicken quarter kg of onion quarter kg of tomatoes 50 grams of chili 50 grams of ginger 50 grams of garlic and maybe i have 100 ml of oil so i am just standardizing the menu then what happens x or y comes they but the other fellow prepares also the quality will not be repeated so so all the people who are in this industry you know the menu so you prepare a menu see that you are going to do standardization test is compulsory the standardizing the recipes are very important otherwise the consistency will not be the same every day the consistency we keep changing it so to maintain the consistency to maintain the quality standardization of menu the person who prepares is very important number 2 after finding a staff yes we are giving a good quality of food and the prepare the guy who is preparing also is very good now that has to reach to whom it has to reach the proper guest how it has to be done the proper service let it be parcel or let it be online i mean let it be a door to door delivery or let it be dining inside the restaurant the one must see that the service should be at most the sincere service should be done all the precautions have to be taken for all the aspects right from the sanitation of the plates cutlery and crockery as well as the what are the uh, plate platters you have or the curry bowls you have everything has to be it has to be served in a classic manner then only the customer should be satisfied so the customer satisfaction is very important then after that okay i seen now the location and then the parking area and menu standardization and then staff and now i am coming to the point of including the staff and say cooking as well as the service side now i am going to say uh, how we are going to yourself sell this in the market selling in the market is very very uh, difficult task maybe i am having a good restaurant good food i am giving it and still i don't get a customer what i should do i should sell myself maybe the brochures maybe the advertisement maybe the sampling to the nearby companies or banks etc wherever whatever whenever they start the restaurant nearby places you must be friendly with them yeah maybe sir, they have uh, in this in this point sir i'd like to just interrupt you regarding the marketing students regarding the marketing we have a very uh, good uh, options like social media so we have facebook you can use the facebook for the marketing you can use the instagram for the marketing and other local digital platforms to sell your products like in the facebook if you have seen you can target your market segments maybe you are staying in kolkata so you can target the whole kolkata 
or Howrah if you are staying in Howrah. So you can target your market in Howrah as well. So use this social media or digital platform as a biggest marketing tool to sell your products and to sell your menus. And you have to choose the menu by watching your competitors' prices, by watching your competitors' position, and what you will prepare that will be completely depending on the demand of the customers in your particular area. Yeah, that's what I wanted to add, sir. Please continue. Yeah, so that while you were talking, very good talking about the social media. Suppose still one more up, it is possible for you to put in the TV ad. So that will a lot of people see that's that also uh, is possible. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So there's some deception as there. Okay. Yes. The TV media is also a very good source of advertisement. So if you until and unless you advertise or you use the social media, then the resident people may not know about it. So there's no okay. point of starting a, there's no point of starting a restaurant without an ad. Even though we have good some disturbance going on. Something I think something is going on there. Yes, yes. People I, talking I, I, about I muted him. Yeah. Yeah. So so what you should do, you should see that you are going to sell yourself. That's a very important thing. And you should gain the confidence of the guests. How you gain the confidence by giving good for good quality of food? The customer should be a repeated guest. That will genuinely you are successful. See, once, you, once the customers are coming to you, maybe three times, four times, then it shows they are liking your food, they are liking your service, they are liking your friendly atmosphere. Okay. So now we have seen the, uh, the customer aspect, of how you are going to sell the product. Now everything is set. The business is set. It has to run. Okay. Now we are we're running a business. And then today, my expectation sales, they might be about 30,000 rupees per day. That 30,000 rupees is not actually, I'm not, I'm not able to achieve. Then what I should do? And 30,000 rupees, my estimation for this area, this investment, because as rightly said, initially you invest less, you start a small business. Gradually, you get more money, you save the money and go for a bigger one. Maybe initially I start a fast food counter, I start a small restaurant. Maybe in the future, uh, future stages, I might run a Okay, standalone restaurant, maybe a star hotel, maybe something else. But initially, my investment yeah. is less. Initially, and then, yeah. Initially, they can start with the small business. Initially, yes. no, no need to invest a huge amount it of money. Big money. With a, yes, yes. yes. Small with a small amount of money also, you can start the business. If you see the uh, good number of entrepreneurs like Ditesh Agarwal, Anjan Chatterjee, and the owners of Swiggy, Zomato, they initially started with a small amount. Maybe they have hired one single garage. And from there, they have started their restaurant. So like that also, you can start your business and when the profit will come, then you can expand your business through. Yeah, please continue, Shir. Yeah, say so I'll give you one small tip in this. Suppose you are good in maybe a Calcutta food, for example. The local lights of Calcutta. You concentrate that, that particularly in a small place. You just sell yourself. That particular product moves very faster. Maybe Calcutta, you know that fish is very popular. Maybe uh, they call fish cooked in the mustard sauce and mustard oil. And that way, particularly the Bengali fish curry is very popular. Everybody knows about it. That you should have an exclusiveness of the Bengali fish curry, which may be the rice. You are starting only that right now. So that sounds like a hot cake. With that money, whatever the income you are getting, because only if you are going to start a minimum dishes, and what will happen, your overheads are less, your staffing is less, your investment is less, your equipment are less. So with that, whatever gets the income you get, maybe you think of a, the restaurant. Initially, your investment should be very less. When you were talking about the bank, so based on your qualification, your certification, definitely bank is coming forward to give a loan. Maybe at least 80% uh, of the loan they give you, 20% maybe in a collateral, definitely you can get it. And that, that uh, even with a hundred percent loan out you get it, my idea, my business, and my uh, request to all of you, start a small joint. See, my, I've been telling my students here to start a biryani, only biryani here. Nearly about, I guess, nearly about 30 people have started Alrani already in Pondicherry and the southern district of Tamil Nadu. Only biryani, and then they're having 
chicken 65 these two dishes will be have per day nearly about 35000 to 40000 rupees they are making they are very happy they are making per day biryani about morning 10 kg evening 10 kg they are that they are making money why i am saying this the menu shorter like by everybody the whole uh, the district of people is be no well known and then people buy that then every day get a 40000 rupees saving the money now I, I i think about a week back i told him now you got enough money you start a little big, bigger restaurant maybe the restaurant which got about 40 crores or 50 crores you can start a restaurant don't leave this concept biryani concept i have the biryani concept here what you have to do in the restaurant you have to some unique thing you have to think over it i said biryani concept like that you must think what is the fast moving in calcutta or uh, maybe delhi or bombay or maybe in chennai or maybe in karnataka that that particular unique item must be there in your restaurant that has to be cooked in the unique style that is very important not an authenticity must be there whenever you prepare that so they prepare that so there is a place called uh, near kerala border there is a chicken called if you go to google you can see border chicken it's called border chicken that pulao only in a cart in a cart he brings nearly about 20 kg of chicken he cut the chicken and marinate the masala and then he weigh and give it he weighs about uh, 100 grams 200 grams 500 grams like that and sells like that you don't believe me all the 40 kg of chicken every day sells off so he goes empty he doesn't carry anything with the leftovers of chicken no so it is very popular that border chicken similarly i want all of you when you start a restaurant there must be some speciality or the signature dish must be there must that must be a unique one that must be a authenticity where people will ask for that so if you have that that, that kind of a thing definitely the restaurant will, will do very well actually and you know need to i said i you know to spend money much of money in that with that limited money you can expand your business get more money you can expand your business so that has to be that the unique dishes in the restaurant has to be there maybe three to four five dishes of signature dishes of the restaurant can be there that can be can, can select a horses and also you should be very flexible you should not be very rigid in giving the orders suppose they you are making a combo you have a combo you are making a combo the combo maybe then suppose i do it i don't like chicken i want a fish you should be able to understand the business taking here you should be very flexible in entrepreneurship you cannot be rigid actually and also see that you are going to nice with the guests you are going to be all the time polite with the guests because you are going to be in the spot you are going to be polite with the guests and you are going to see the needs of the people whatever the, you also have to take a before talking I mean before uh, taking uh, the restaurant you can have a survey of that at the other places the survey is very important uh, nearby restaurants or nearby uh, what you call the cloud kitchens or nearby the uh, online uh, uh, kitchens you can have a look what sort of food they give it how much they sell it how they are giving it what sort of manpower they are using it this is a study everyone has to take it up before you start a restaurant the study the survey is very important what sort of food that area goes maybe in the same area what that fellow sells okay he sells like this he sells a biryani he sells the rice he sells the curd rice okay what we should do we don't want to compare the price with them he may be charging about uh, 100 rupees you will not that we have to charge 90 rupees not that we have to be a good quality you can charge 120 rupees doesn't mind the quality is important what is the fast moving item in all about six to seven restaurants that particular thing you must have in your restaurant that uh, that particular dish must have a uniqueness you can charge about 20 rupees or 30 rupees more but still people will buy because you are giving the better quality than anybody else the quality is not a compromise here quality is completely very very important you cannot defeat that similarly whenever you cook the uh, the material the quality of raw material is very important you cannot compromise that so maybe for example i am making a dal dal makhani uh, there is a two types of dal available one is a cheap dal which may be kilo about uh, 70 rupees another dal may be 120 rupees you should go for 120 rupees then maintain the quality the people find it. wherever you are if you maintain the quality the people will come at the doorstep and see that they buy that so i i am very insisting this point quality is not a compromise it is compulsory you have to maintain the quality and then the point what you have to a very important point here because i started a business that's why i'm telling you this so what i do normally i get today 30000 rupees so just carefully note this 
I did everyday business of 30,000 rupees. Then I keep it in the drawer. Next morning when I come back, I spend that money, that 30,000 money to fund other purchases. If you're going to do that, you're paid. You will not run the restaurant. Whatever I get the money, the, the sales, what I'm doing is, by default, next day morning, it should go to the bank. You are not supposed to handle cash at all in the restaurant, except you must have a certain, uh, maybe what you call a certain petty cash. That cash only you can handle separately. Not with the sales, you can handle the cash. If you do one, the minute you are going to handle the, the cash which have been sold, definitely you'll be failure. Separately, petty cash, the money, whatever you're getting it, you should go to the bank. Then only be able to sustain in the industry. Otherwise, you cannot sustain in the industry because a lot of people have failed because of this only. Because we invest nearly about maybe about 20 lakh, 40 lakh, or 1 crore, 5 crores and all. The minute you're going to mishandle the money paying from the drawer, you are out. Separately, you must have the petty cash, the money what comes in goes to the bank. Very important. So initially, maybe you can think, uh, I invested about 50 lakhs, I'm not able to get a profit. Immediately, you cannot get the profit. Business has to sit for some time. Maybe there will be fluctuations will be there that you have to have the uh, mind to set actually, okay, it will be like this only. Maybe another six months time, we we'll definitely get a profit. The profit, when I say profit, the profit not less than about 15 to 20 percent you get this business, the food business. You may be saying a rise like in 100 percent. Total profit will be after all your uh, gross profit, net profit will be 15 to 20 percent will be there. For that only we are working. One other thing is the criteria you have to carefully handle. When you say handling this, you are appointing a cashier, you are appointing a storekeeper, you are appointing the purchase uh, material, who are called the purchase officer or whatever it is. Or you're going to purchase their son. When you handle these two, storekeeper and cashier, my my suggestion, maybe whom you can believe strongly, they can be. Maybe your relatives who are very strong with you, they can be. If you're going to put an unknown people for this, particularly for this, then we have to think twice. Because every day we have cannot cross-check it. Say I used to do, I used to cross-check the KOT and the cash. We depend on the cashier. Sometimes what happens, the cash and the KOT does not tally. So this is very important. Not starting a business is here. Maybe easy, but dealing with the cash, maintaining the cash, dealing with the cashier, dealing with the storekeeper, definitely a lot of flaws will be there. Then we can see a lot of malpractices will be there, which you will be able to understand this little time, it will take some time to understand, but definitely you won't have to be involved totally, then only will you get into the business successfully. Otherwise, it's going to be very it's a nightmare. It's not that easy, actually. Can you go on to say? Yes, yeah. yes. So, uh, perfectly. So, the main thing which I saw uh, through your discussion, first of all, the students require courage, which is himmat, you know, courage to start a business. Because sometimes we uh, have lack of courage to start the business. If you start the business initially, you will see that later on you, you are earning more than the salary which you, you would have got when you started the job. So if you are uh, getting 20,000 20, per month uh, when you are working and when you are doing the business, you will get 20,000 per day. So there are a lot of options to earn money through the business, through your own business, if you have the courage to start it. So there are a lot of uh, options I can tell you, or a lot of uh, uh, chefs who have started business, I can tell you their names, even as Chef Damu, Chef Sanjeev Kapoor, Chef Kunal Kapoor, they all have their own restaurants. So they are earning money from their restaurants and side by side, they are doing some other activities as well. So uh, just I wanted to tell you that, okay, you are uh, you will be doing job, that's fine. But apart from job, you can think about your own business as well. because. You are expert of preparing foods. You know how to cook foods hygienically. You know how to do bakery items nicely because you are not a novice or you are not a newcomer in the industry. So you have all these knowledges of preparing food, how to do housekeeping things or everything about hospitality industry. Along with that, you have the knowledge of marketing management. You know how to identify the right customers for your own business how to sell your own products in the market and how to do financial management. So all these things you already learned through your bachelor degree or master degree course. Now, what 
advantage you have you know about the food industry you you, you saw your competitors when you went for the industrial training or in the internship you saw how five star hotels are working how they are selling foods uh, what are the things they are keeping in mind while doing this business and apart from that locally you can see many biryani shops many uh, uh, online retail stores are opening and they are doing good business so if you start your own business as well it can be very profitable and believe me you don't require much money if they if anyone is saying that you require a huge amount of money that is not true and you can if it requires some money you can definitely go for the bank loan uh, you need to fill only 15 20 pages uh, for the bank loan and definitely banks are giving enough loan and students will be easily uh, uh, able to take bank loans so uh, this is the main thing uh, and our main objective is to uh, encourage the students to do internship sorry to do uh, entrepreneurship or to do their own business so a uh, chef uh, along with that i'd like to uh, ask you initially if they start their restaurants initially if they start yeah. their restaurants so uh, what are the other options apart from food industry like travel and tourism like uh, yeah. uh, Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Actually, uh, you can uh, start uh, uh, other than the food industry. Uh, related to food industry, you can also have ready to eat food. Ready to eat food, you can have it. All the suggests you can have it. And also the preservatives, you can have it. A lot of preserves we have, uh, like uh, jam, jelly, uh, the juices, which is ready made, you can have it. And one can start a supermarket. Like for example, if we got everything, all the groceries, vegetables, and meat, meat products, milk and milk products, that grocery that is what I call supermarket or mall in the mall in the mall, it goes very well. See, the restaurant, I need to come and have the food. Only the food comes part, I'm coming down. In a grocery shop, whatever I need for my house, the the importance of the house. I go buy that. It is, should be make available. The grocery shop should be available. So I need to come there. A lot of people come and buy things. And then again, you are supposed to sell in the grocery shop. All the branded one you are supposed to sell. All the branded product you sell, the people will be there. And there should not be any, uh, the dates actually, no, we are going to for expiry dates not supposed to be there. Normally, uh, this sort of uh, entrepreneurship, the entrepreneurs will have a mental strength actually, you should have mental strength to overcome everything. One day there will be business, another day they will not be having business. One day maybe it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday they will do good, maybe lunch and dinner, maybe other days they may not do good. So other days not doing good, you are so not supposed to be get worried about it, why it's not coming. The business like that only. It's not that all the restaurants where you are in the South hotels also doing every day good. Maybe if I say Friday, Saturday, they do good. The other week in the week is they're doing less. So one must have a mental strength to overcome this. There will be a stress. Financial stress will be there. Social stress will be there. Staffing stress will be there. The stress, you ought to overcome that. You are not supposed to take it ahead. This is the everyday job you are supposed to do. It. If you're not planning to start it, yes. I want you to start. Maybe a good fast food counter where you can give the what do you call the ready food which you prepare and the hot food can be served. Mind you guys, only one thing very important. Whenever you give a food that has to be piping hot, then really people are there. The fast food counter also you see why they are picking up so when in front of you only they're preparing it, they're serving it hot. That's just how much of proud you can see. You are not able to see a good player and good restaurant because. We are not seeing that actually what's happening. So the fast food counter, less investment, more crowd, more money, and less price. And similarly, I said, mall, yes, you get a good money in the supermarkets. Similarly, vegetable shops, yes, you get a good money. And separately, grocery shops, you get a good money. Travel and tourism, maybe, maybe we have about five, six cars we have, maybe tempo travelers we have, maybe the posh, posh cars we have. You can go for rental for the tourism. Wherever they are. only ought to depend on the drivers. Definitely, you can give the car on a higher basis for the tourists to go around. That is a very good business, actually. Tourist business, tourism is a good because it is going to definitely going to bounce back. 
they are going to be improper going to be more definitely you can invest money on the buying uh, the vehicle and then letting out uh, maybe even uh, you can contact maybe nearby officers where they can drop and pick up every day so that vehicle also maybe a tempo traveler or maybe the maxi cab all these you can um, buy it and then the, you can pick them and drop them back that also it is possible to do and also for tourism also it'll be helpful actually and want to do a business anything is possible other than the ladies business the boutique it's not as yes. uh, similarly the beauty parlor is not as so yes. similarly what you call the saloons is not as let to the subject definitely go well yes sir yes. yes so uh, the main thing is that you need courage you need mental preparedness to do hard work and you need creativity and after that you can start your own business courage creativity and hard work if you have these things in your mind definitely you can be successful uh, in the business or in the entrepreneurship uh, industry so uh, thank you chef thank you very much so students if you have any questions you can always ask so one more point yeah uh, yes. i just want to tell you uh, that whoever start the business they must know the job yes. let it be cooking let it be a service why i'm saying it it happened to me my uh, kitchen staff not turned up so since i know to make a biryani i know to make this curry i made myself if that day that uh, i would not have made i have to close the shop so whoever starts in this catering line they must know the job also and the same standard you are supposed to maintain yeah i can go ahead yeah thank you sir thank you very much for your uh, kind suggestions and advice for our students and i hope the students will be entrepreneurship uh, and they can become a good manager or a good md or mark, uh, managing director in the latter stage of their career path thank you very much sir thank you thank you thank, thank you thank, students thank. for joining us thank you thank you very much